Hi everybody and welcome to my channel Enlightened Tarot. Thank you very much for coming over to watch this video. Um, I'm going to do a reading today for Twin Flames and I'm focusing more on twins who are experiencing delays in coming together with their twin. When I say coming together, I more mean in the crossing of paths with each other, coming into contact to talk, um, coming into contact to say hello, that kind of thing. I just mean like a general crossing of paths with each other, not necessarily coming together to say, hey, let's be together. <laughs> so I'm looking mainly at those twins who are facing those delays and are not coming across uh, their twin. So I'm going to pull messages from the Abraham Hicks cards, the Archangel Michael cards, and also the Energy Oracle cards as well, just to get some advice, some support, and anything that would be helpful to kind of know what do we need to work on within ourselves um, so that this can manifest quicker towards us, okay? Um, and also just letting you know, excuse the sore throat again. <laughs> um, so if I have to stop for a drink, um, I'll have to do that. So we'll get on with the three that I've already pulled using the Abraham Hicks deck. Um, the three that have come out, I came as an extension of source energy. Every relationship I establish is eternal. And the third one was my true success is measured by my alignment. Okay. So we're going to look at the first one. I came as an extension of source energy. There is short paragraphs. On each of these cards so I'll read those okay so you came as physical extensions of source energy understanding that you would explore contrast causing expansion not only for you but for all that is you knew that you could find your way back to the resources of your source by feeling your way and by understanding that the relationship between you and you is not one of separateness but of alignment and resonance when you master the art of allowing you your consistent alignment with the source within you Every other relationship will be beneficial and pleasurable. Okay, so great message there to begin with. Now, every relationship I establish is eternal. It is our desire that you come to remember that every relationship is eternal and that once it's been established, it is actually part of your vibrational makeup forevermore. And that in your powerful now, where all that have you become converges with all that you are now becoming, you hold the power to create. And so your observation of a situation wanted or unwanted, no matter how remote you believe yourself to be, makes you a co-creative partner of the experience. So again, a beautiful message. And then my true success is measured by my alignment. Alignment with source, being inside your vortex of creation and becoming one with the true expanded version of you is the ultimate selfishness. And yes, in that state of alignment, all good things must come to you. Every rocket of desire that you've launched will be fulfilled. True success is not the attainment of things, the achievement of tasks, or the achievement of financial abundance. True success is the coming into alignment with you. Yes, selfishly aligning with your desires, your clarity, your confidence, your knowledge, your love with yourself. I mean, guys, these three messages in itself is talking about the self. It's talking about you, things that you need to do in order to manifest everything that is good towards you. OK, so I've asked for messages specifically for twin to a experiencing delays. And basically, it's just really working on the self again and to continue with it and not to feel that there is no hope and that everything is lost and you'll never see your twin again. And all the negative thinking that comes with, you know, you think it's finished and it's over and you've not heard from them for ages or you've not come across them for ages. This is about knowing where you came from. You know that you came from, you know, source energy. You know that everybody's come from source energy. There is no separateness. We are all one together. We're all coming. We all come from the same place. We all go back to the same place. This is reminding us that, you know, every relationship I establish is eternal. OK, so once it's in your vibrational makeup, it is always there forever. Um, and then your true success is measured by your alignment. So it's just saying to find that balance within yourself. Be selfish. Be who you want to be. Recognize what it is you want. Everybody else is looking after them. You have to look after you. So this is about focusing within. Go within. 
forget your twin for a bit, you know, just focus on you. What is it you want? What do you want to do? What makes you happy within yourself? Okay. Without the need for anyone in particular, what makes you happy? What things can you do for yourself to make you happy? So great, uh, great cards there. So we're going to now look at the Archangel Michael cards. I'm going to draw three from that and see what messages we get for twins experiencing these delays. Okay. I'm going to go with this third card that was um, given because how do you feel that this should really be playing a part as much as possible in everybody's um, life path. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so sense of humour. Okay, you know, I try and find a way of laughing every single day. Um, I really do. And quite a few times I've put on some comedies and, and watched those and had a really good role about laughing. And there's quite a few... Well, not quite a few, many good YouTube channels that I've watched. Um, and mainly because my uh, son watches them that, you know, I've watched a few of them and they've just been so funny. Um, so, you know, get into a habit of trying to make sure that you can find something to laugh at. Um, just to raise your vibration because that's really what it does. Um, so sense of humour, you know, finding a sense of humour in life. Don't take life too seriously and just have a laugh. Have a laugh at whatever you can find every day and find something to laugh about now this first card is here about admitting the truth to yourself okay and act accordingly you may have up and down emotions you may not be sure there may be so many things that come into your head about you know it not being right with your twin and I don't feel I should go down that route and I don't really want to come across them but yet something inside you really wants to kind of see them again and talk to them again so you kind of got a push and a pull thing going on you know admitting the truth and and Knowing what you want, what is your truth, what is your desire, what would you like, and be clear on that and ask for it. Okay, so this can open the doors to some of those delays as well. Because when you're not sure, you're thinking of things that you know you wouldn't really kind of go for um, with somebody with regards to talking to them with, or being with them in a relationship, but because it's your twin and you've got this really amazing connection, there's a, a part of you that's kind of well. I could let that slide and I could let that go and I'm not too bothered about the age and because it isn't a twin, whereas, you know, generally you wouldn't even look at that maybe with somebody else, but because of the connection, you're drawn in. So it's a, ca a, ki a case of, not kind of, it's a case of admitting the truth to yourself and running with that desire of, you know, in a way, releasing your resistance and see what flows in. You don't even have to analyse it. You don't have to kind of sit there thinking what you need to do about it. Just allow it to flow and all will happen. That is good for you because here we have been given this new beginning and fresh start okay so it is here for some of us but if we're having these delays you know the work is showing that it still needs to continue you still need to focus within and look at yourself so that you can have this fresh start whichever way it's meant to go for you with or without your twin but something new a new door is opening here the message here at the bottom says thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past Fill me with trust as, experience, as I experience these life changes. Okay, so again, the delays are coming because of past issues, things not fully being healed, things not fully being purged. You know, the surrender that we need to do has got to be full. It's got to be complete. As much as you can to get there, it's got to be in a way that you've just let go um, of it. So you can manifest it back in. Uh, at the right time you know so you're at a place of wholeness you're at a place of peace you're at a place of feeling that you've done a lot of the healing work that you know you are grounded and independent and confident and can see the fun side of life without the need for you for your twin or for anybody for that matter you are complete and then if you just allow and release the resistance and just allow so that every day to just focus on the day and not to focus on tomorrow or the next day or the, the next week or the next month. To just relax in the day. To know that where you are is where you are. And that you can change things with your thoughts and your vibration. Okay. So again, really good messages there. So now I said that I was going to have a look at the Energy Oracle cards for twins on delays, feeling delays. Uh, in crossing paths with their twin. We're going to have a look to see what messages are drawn.
field drawer now to go with this, which is the Angel of Love, the Walking Away, and the Second Chakra Archangel Ariel. Okay, so let's have a look at these. Um, Angel of Love. Okay, I feel this um, position, the upright position, is the right way for this message. I feel that the Angel of Love is around is helping, is guiding, is supporting, okay, as much as they can do. I feel like there, there is your guides helping you. You know, you are being um, given signs, like the numbers, like the 1111s, you know. You are being shown so many things on your twin flame journey, yet there's delays, yet you don't feel you're getting there, yet you feel that, you know, you're going to walk away, yet you feel like your twin may be walking away and that it's not, never going to happen. You've got help, you have got guidance, you have been, you're giving the signs, Okay, it's all about finding your alignment, first of all, so that you can come together or at least whatever is meant to come of it, be it friendship, be it relationship. It is, you know, the guidance is there. It is all part of the process and it is all part of the fun. We have to see the fun side of the journey as well. Okay, otherwise it can be emotion, it can be draining, it can be, well, what, what do I do? What do I do with all these feelings? So you have to see the fun side to to relax, to release whatever it is you feel intensely. Okay, so you have guidance, you have help there. The walking away, okay. Walking away card, I feel, is about releasing the past, letting your past go, walking away from the old things. So you can go through this fresh freshness, this field of blossoming, this new chapter of love, of feeling connected to another who is so like you you know your twin has is there uh, well you're there for each other okay you are there to to bring up issues to bring up things to see something else which you would not normally see with another person you know you can only really see these things with your twin it is your twin that triggers these issues okay so whether it's one with the issue or both with the issue you know, somebody is having to go through healing, okay, with it. So this is about leaving the past behind and being confident with that because you do have the guidance there, okay? Be confident that you deserve all that is good and that everything is happening in the right way. And especially when you look at the signs, like your numbers and like synchronised events and, and your own intuitive guide, when you look at all that, you know, where are you being led towards? Who are you being led towards? Put all that together. And then that will also be part of your answer. Let go of the past. Release. Surrender to it all. It is what it is. It, it's, it's come. It's, you know, it's, it's had its place. So that's gone. The past is gone. You can't kind of do much about it apart from focus on you and heal. You can't change anybody else. They all played a part. They all played a role. It's a case of forgiving. Now, the um, second chakra, Archangel Ariel, number 36. Okay, so this is referring to this chakra, second chakra. I'm going to go to the Energy Oracle Cards uh, book for the second chakra. So let me have a look at that, and I'll read it from there. Okay, so there it is. So this is about intimacy and creativity. It says here that the second chakra vibrates in the energy of the beautiful Angel Ariel. She sends a bright orange energy, promoting inspired creativity and greater comfort with intimacy. When this card appears upright, it's, up, it's urging you to get creative. Let yourself reach out into unexplored areas of self-expression and new projects that may have uh, a more creative approach. Also, a time when the energies of closeness with others and nurturing yourself can flow more easily, more freely. You can now open yourself to the emotional intimacy that may be coming your way. So nurture yourself and be ready to receive the affection and camaraderie of the resonant souls around you. Great message. Really a brilliant message, actually. You know, you've got all this to experience with your twin. Um, the physical side, you know, whether it's friendly, whether it's in a relationship, you have, you know, uh, this side of you. Um that is going to be brought in the the intimate side the the feeling of each other okay because you're being guided you have so much love to give your twin has so much love to give as well you know it's all there within you you just have to release the past and walk away from it 
so that you can get to this place. I mean, great messages, guys. Um, I really did love these messages, are quite clear. For those experiencing delays, know that you have to still continue the work of healing and getting to a place of peace. And it does come over time. It does come with practice. Uh, and you will get there. And a lot of you are doing already so well. But it's just a case of continuing, okay? So that you always feel at a place of peace within yourself and that comfort. That you can come across your twin and still feel that peace. You can come away from your twin and still feel that peace. Without the longing for, when is it going to happen? How is it going to happen? Am I going to be with my twin? So many of those questions used to come up with me, but they are less so now because I've done a lot of work on myself as well. So all I would say is keep at it, twins. You know, go with the flow. Find that sense of humour. Find that fun inside of yourself. Everything will manifest for the best. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to put another video out fairly soon. Uh, if I keep them quite short. Um, so I want to send you out so much love, peace and happiness. I want to like, love you to um, like, share and subscribe to uh, my videos and channel. And I will go now and speak to you all very soon. Thank you very much.